Pickles. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. I just slowed, I just uh, booted up. I don't know, for all I know, maybe I completely forgot to save state. Or, well, actually that's not true. No, it couldn't be save state because, yeah, I both, um, I don't have a save state, but I tried loading the game and normally, and uh, that didn't work either. Wait, actually, I think I know what happened. I think I abs accidentally I loaded a save state, and that overwrote the um save data I created. Which, to be fair, is all on me. It set me back to uh, the beginning of the previous stream, I think. Yep, poop indeed. Well, anyway, I'll uh, just get these links posted in Discord and I'll try and speedrun it. Exactly. Any percent stream catch up edition. I'm speed running my own mistakes. Hey Yam, how's it going? Finally on vacation. Nice. Mr. Blue, uh, qu important question. What kind of tea? Chai tea. Hey, Invisible. How's it booping? Feeling fatigued, but wants to see more up. Yeah, I know that feel. Yeah, it's not so bad now that I'm not doing constant morning shifts, but... You have constant Bailey shifts. I don't know what a Bailey shift is. Is it a shift where you get to drink Baileys? Because that doesn't sound so bad, so I assume it's not. Oh, you're stuck behind adverts, never mind.
The new advertising system is unrelenting and frequent. Oh, anyways, uh, how's it going, everyone? Sorry, my hair's kind of a mess. I literally had to rush here on the way home from work. And as I was explaining a moment ago, and as you might know, if you followed a link in from Discord or from um, Twitter, uh, I seem to have lost some save data, which, to be fair, is on me, because I think what happened was I loaded a save state, reset the game, but it reset because I loaded the save state, it reset it using the data I had at that time. And I think at the end of the last stream, I um, only saved in-game. So, yep. Yeah, my mistake. Oh, welcome back, Invisible. Uh, yeah, I was just asking what's a Bailey shift. And also the fact I've lost some data since last week, so I'm basically going to have to speedrun to where I got to. I'll doggo walking in care. Fair enough. 24 7 shift. Yep. The needs of doggos are a constant and unrelenting. Well, anyway. I think what I did to Sestoff was I headed up here, bought some bins. Yeah, this is all seeming familiar. Putrid Mordy Man. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Insecticide spray. Okay, yep. That was it. The zombies have seen me. And I think when I went back, there was a whole thing of a scene in a. There's creepy puppets and pumpkin people. Okay, what she got? Point of damage. So, yep. Yeah. <sighs> exactly, Chloe. You didn't have the pee pee. Yeah, I remember. Then I follow this lady into the hotel. No idea why they'd do this in character. Uh, 
and then you get ambushed. I mean, to be fair, it took me like 30 minutes to get to this point last stream, so I'm doing pretty well. Kemp Paula calls out, well, and I got very confused before I remember I named um, the character whose default name is Lucas Ra. And with another friend, yeah? Yep, Rara is the best name. Winters, a small country to the north. Goggles, raw punches you in the face every time you remember it. Yep, up I go. I'm not entirely sure if, um, Tony has a, like a little hat or his hair just looks like that. Right, is that supposed to be a highlight or is he wearing a hat? Oh, hang on a sec. Yep, and I'm back. <laughs> Chloe, Ra Punch, Goggles, classic emo kid attack. I thought that was the glomp. Talk, talk, talk. Plot twist. He actually, by um, doing his business, he actually means that he's literally going to run the company his daddy bought for him. Goggles, glomping, brings back you some visceral pain and sometimes literal pain. Yep. Pretty sure they got banned at most conventions. I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. I hand decorated each cookie to pass out at the party tomorrow. Yeah. Like yaoi paddles. <laughs> now there's some deadly lore. Apparently the, um, a bag containing the last ever batch of, um, Yowie paddles to be manufactured was lost somewhere. So, like, that's just waiting to be found one day to be unleashed upon the world. Blah, blah, blah. Dr. Ando Nut isn't here. Best than Einstein or Heisenberg? Well... Einstein's pretty cool, but I'm sure he's better than a Nazi. 
Rawr. Got the key to the locker. Exactly, Goggles. May that bag be forever undiscovered. Oh, hey, Muffin. How's it going? Tea and biscuits. Sounds like a good idea. I've got the tea, and I don't have biscuits, but... Uh, I do have a giant tube full of um, chocolate-coated popcorn. Is that a bong on the table? No, I think it's supposed to be like a science flask. Oh yeah, so um, one thing I discovered since the last stream is the main mechanic for Lucas is that if you have a broken item in your inventory, every time you save, or every time you stay at an, an inn or something, he'll repair it. That's what they all say. Rah, open the locker of the bad key machine. Invisible, that's what they all say. Pfft, I admit nothing. There was a Holmes hat in the locker. Equip. Okay, broken air gun. I'm guessing that gets turned into a better. Okay. Yeah, so for those who missed my um, mention at the start of the stream, I got past this bit last stream, but um, lost my save data. So I'm just trying to sort of speedrun this. The, the speedrun this. We go into the shop, acquire monkey. <laughs> Ra got the pack of bubble gum. Ricky, give the monkey bubble gum. Monkey has bubblegum powers. Is it cold outside?
Alrighty. Giving a monkey bubblegum feels irresponsible. Yeah, a little. But the monkey did ask for it. I mean, like, if the monkey can express that it wants bubblegum, surely it can't be that wrong to give it some. Although, I suppose the real question is... Goggles, there, you probably do the same. Yeah, I suppose the real question is, can a monkey actually um, blow bubbles? I mean, they have lips and stuff, but can they actually just... Do they have the air dexterity? Hey, Enfys. It is irresponsible. We'll give them hats instead. You know, that's fair. Oh yeah, I forgot to her do shout outs. Oh yeah, could someone uh, sort out shout outs in the chat? I'm just gonna fight some doggos. Oh, thanks for the shout out goggles. Level two. Oh, Kibi uh, MK is raiding. How's it going, Kibi? Can we get a shout out for Kibi? Welcome to the chat. Enjoy case 14. What's Kiwi been playing? Pokemon Shiny Pearl. Shining Pearl, Shiny Hunting. Oh nice, you get anything. Thanks, Enfys. I'm just having to replay literally my entire last stream of Earthbound because I lost the save data. Wow, go monkey. Thanks for the follow, QT Games. All right, for those um, who've just joined us from Kiwi Stream, I'm Bisected Brioche, she, her, or Faith here, Tiefling Rogue if we're friends. I'm a trans woman streamer. I stream uh, playthroughs of single player games usually. Occasionally I cosplay, and right now I'm uh, streaming some Earthbound. Muffin, that monkey looks like the Belgian cartoon character Tintin. Now that you mention it, could be in trouble here. Okay, just made it. Oh, thanks for the follow up. Enjoy Skater 14. A salt packet. Oh, and I leveled up to level 3. Basically, the um sort of the first two player characters have been captured. And now I'm playing as someone else who has science powers. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's got the same sort of hair thing going on. Yeah, I'm going to avoid making the same mistake I did last time. And create a save state. Well, let's hope he doesn't start ranting about communism. Kibi, the shiny hunting is part of a larger shiny hunting competition you're part of. Where you work in teams of four to fill in the bingo board of different shiny hunting methods. Underground being the method you're working on today. Okay, so what does underground mean? Is it just like um, somehow using underground areas to boost the rate of shinies or... Gonna test the spy ability. Oh, good. A scan ability. Defense is 8, defense is 23, vulnerable to sci fire and sci freeze. Kiwi hunting in the ground underground, which is exclusive to brilliant diamond slash shi shining pearl. Okay. So is it just an area with a high shiny rate? Level 4? Most of the time it's full odds. One, at, one in 4,900... Sorry. 4,096. Occasionally the odds get boosted to 1 in 2,048. So not a very high rate. Hmm. Muffin Kiwi's hunting for a shiny Pokemon. Basically, um, there's a very small chance that any Pokemon in the Pokemon game series might be shiny, which is just a very rare alternative colour palette. Sorry, by the way, I'm skipping through all the dialogue. As I said, I'm trying to speedrun back to the part of the game I was at before. Basically, one of the two main characters is Psychic. Well, the, the two first main player characters are Psychic. And one of them just likes to send messages whenever they're captured. So uh, this guy's had a Psychic message from the sort of the main party. So now we're going to try and go meet them. Goggles, you're still mad your first legit Pokemon Shinies in Pokemon Go. To be honest, same. And it was a sh shiny Magikarp. And I love it. I mean, it's a shiny Gyarados now. I really should get back to playing Pokemon Go more. Yours was a shiny Taillo. Tessie is such a friend. Yep, Magikarp is the best Pokemon. Actually, no, I'm going to override that. The actual best Pokemon is Feebas, because Feebas is Magikarp but trans. Enfist, you should learn all the words to the Magikarp song. Yeah, Melotic is uh, what evolves from Feebas. I remember, I think it was Pokemon Ruby. There was a ridiculous method you needed to do to get find a Feebas. And so basically I was, I think it was, I think my family went on a trip to visit 
a relative of some sort was staying overnight in a travel lodge and I was literally spent spent the entire night in the um, bathroom of the travel lodge just searching each fishing one particular route until I found one and caught like five yeah it's ridiculous because apparently it's basically set so only one literally only one square you can fish in the entire game at any given moment has a fee bass in it so yeah it is literally impossible to come by one by accident anyway i think i lost that cartridge so that i've lost that pokemon as well I mean, to be fair, the uh, second shiny Pokemon I found in uh, Pokemon Go was a shiny Eevee. I can't remember what I evolved it into, though. I might have saved it until I could evolve it into Sylveon, but I can't remember. Kiwi is limited to four tiles and one specific route. Tiles that change every day, and you're not even guaranteed a fee bass encounter on the correct tiles. That was it. I'm not exaggerating when I say I was searching literally all night. So yep, yeah, I think I'm almost to where I was before. And we're only 35, 4 minutes in, so I'm sure I can get another hour's progress. Yep, little known fact that um, the correct um, procedure for domesticating animals is actually to beat the heck out of them. Ah, delicious bread roll. Goggles, this creature feels somewhat more ethical. At least you're only taking a copy of the creatures. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Summer, how's it going? Trying to cook dinner, headache. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, let me know if you won't be able to make it to um, late in the dark later this evening. Are you plan to make it fair enough? So yeah, this present's actually um basically this game's version of mimics. Just have to power through like every day. You engage the worthless protoplasm. Oh, it's not worthless. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my and piss. What a modern look like that. You think it looks like a sex toy? No comment. 
but also mod trying to save you from yourself. Okay, 6 HP by literally just eating salt, I guess. Not even God can save you from yourself. Yeah, that's fair. Delta Rune has no reference to this enemy's attack. Oh no, the character who has no Psy abilities couldn't use Psy. Time we at... Oh, only 40 minutes. Excellent. Okay, you an enemy? No, you're not. Croissant. Croissant, 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 croissant. One who's just leaving all this food. Eleven to do running water, basically everything. that it tells you what stasis effects you can inflict on it. Wait, did it just attack itself? virus is in this game and keeps beating me up. Ah. Hey Nolus, game sure does like its mazes, huh? Also hi. Yep, how's it going? Long story short, I um, I lost my data from the last stream, so now I'm uh, basically going through this again. Okay, can I equip the stun gun? Yes, yes I can. Yeah, to be fair, I think what happened was, basically I um didn't uh, save states when I saved last stream. Yep, I think this is the point I was up to. 
and instead just saved normally. But then I, when I started the game, I loaded the save state and that overwrote my um, actual save. Maybe it was too easy. My name's Brick Rose, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. Random Nut's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man. The first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I've become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Wait, what's that? Oh, did something Muffin said, uh, was something Muffin said? A Homestuck reference? I wouldn't know. Enjoy Homestuck? Haven't heard that name in a while. To be fair, I'm fairly certain everything's Basically, everything's a Homestuck reference. It's like JoJo. Level 7. Yeah, the nice thing about this is when they add a new character to your party, they're level one. So you get all the, um... What's it? What's the word? You know, the happy... the, do the dopamine. From levelling up like every other battle. Okay, that was a pretty serious hit from just a mouse. Oh. Hey, QT Games. Welcome to chat. Did they change the dialogue for this release? Homestead came out ten ye like ten, ten years after Earthbound, you think? Huh? I don't think anyone said anything about Homestuck in this. Oh, hey, Teddy. How's it going? I think you're moving the, um... You're emptying out the house of, um, a dead relative, aren't you? Uh, Vishnu, Vishnu, I believe, is indeed a god from Hindu... Specifically, I believe the um, balance god. Wait, Vishnu the Preserver. Not to be confused with Brahma, the uh, creator, and. What's the other one? Shiva the Destroyer. Hello, Mushroom. Mushroom feels very conspicuous. B 
Vishnu is the one from the Death Destroyer of Worlds quote. Nope, I'm pretty sure it's Shiva, Destroyer of Worlds. Although, there is some overlap since it obviously it's a religion that's very, very big on the reincarnation. Although I only re really know it from RS, the, like GCSE level RS, so I'm sure I've, I've got a few details wrong. Level 8, some more offense, more defense, more speed, more vitality, more IQ. Some luck. Oop, maximum HP's gone up by 12. I'll take it. Seriously, it feels like these mushrooms have to have something going on. Also, I think the qu original quote is, I have become deaf to strong worlds. Hey, let's get this mushroom before it starts um, mushrooming me. Oh no. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to heal. So my only choice is to use Boiga. Present in a mysterious crystal. I could use a burger right now. Okay, bottle rocket. Can I do anything with the crystal? No. No, let's speak of Homestuck though, now that we are. You went back and found two, count them, found trolls you made for a foreign werewolf game on TV tropes before you ever read the thing. Ah! I got ambushed by mushrooms. Whoa. Level 9? I'm just gaining all the levels. Okay, better equip that, just for the stat boost. How do I get over there? I 
I'm going to be able to check the balance of everything at once. I don't follow. Oh, it was a level pun. Wait, am I just supposed to have the monkey... Oh, yeah, I guess it now. God, there's mushrooms everywhere. And they won't stop spawning. I've been researching D and D stuff for a character. Thinking of making a circle of swarm, the swarm druid who's like an ancient Egyptian priest that can wild it, shape into swarms of cobras or scorpions. Oh, that's neat. Or locusts. Okay. I have no idea how to get over there. Yeah, swarm copers would be cool. My current um, D and D character, or my most recently uh, rolled one. Is a uh, druid rogue. Although I'm having fun playing druid at the moment so I might just leave her as a pure druid muffin the hat that Pharaoh's wall was made to make them look like a cobra okay I didn't know that and the scorpion king was based on a real person and there were two of them Muffin, you think a druid barbarian will be terrifying while chipping into a bear, then raging? Oh uh, yeah. Can you use class abilities? Yeah, you can. Rogue's sort of interesting because you have to sort of choose your build just to... Because not all... In theory, at least, if you wild shaped into a giant spider, you could actually use sneak attack with its web, somehow um, dealing damage with it.
I mean, to be fair, the boat, uh, the cutting action is really useful for wild shape. I have no idea how to progress in this area. Yeah, a lot of the best druid spells are concentration based ones you can cast. To be fair, I think uh, not needing concentration is what makes a uh, poly. Uh, wild shape better than polymorph. I got backstabbed by some slugs. Muffin, you like that druid spell combo where you make a field of thorns and then use form whips dragon enemy through it. Oh yeah, that's a viable combo. To be fair, I first started playing D&D &D back in 3.5 edition and the, the uh, druid was completely broken back then. As in, just like Wild Shape alone was more powerful than some entire class kits. Oh cool, I'm at the point where I don't actually even need to fight enemies anymore. And this, I have a warlock with repelling blast holder, holding eldritch blast to push them back into it. Most painful game of tug of war ever. Wow. Yep, have a Nice nap, Muffin. Working through the night, Raw fixed the broken iron. After being fixed, the broken iron became the slime generator. As you do. Slime generator. Items for raw. Sprays a sticky substance that stops the enemy enemy from mo moving. Can be used many times. Warlock is Enfys' favourite class. You know that tracks. But since I'm a rogue main, I can't really comment. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Just getting attacked by a couple of pixels, as one does. Okay, this is Iris is doing no doubt, being swarmed by mice. Oh wait, I've made that joke already. Never mind. Oh yeah, for those who don't know, by the way, um I'm later I'm going to be on um, someone else's channel and I'll be um running a game of Blades in the Dark. So if anyone wants to uh, catch that... Oh, thank you for using that command, Nolus. Yeah, if anyone wants to catch that, you can uh, hop on the... hop on uh, Nick's YouTube channel and... I think there's an option for a reminder. Muffin, you currently have an Oath of Vengeance Paladin, you play as for Anne Helsing or Trevor Belmont. Oh, that's cool. My current main um, character, Grounded, the um, Tiefling, is, is sort of a loose parody of um, Sam Saran. As in her whole thing was being raised by Aarakocra and becoming really good at climbing. But mostly I sort of leaned into the, um, sort of, um, like the awkward zombie comics that sort of portray Samus as kind of a weirdo. I use that as the basis for her personality. I don't know what's happening there. A bomb. Inside the present, there was a bomb. Bomb damages an enemy when used in battle. Because of its explosive power, it may affect others besides the target creature. One after one use. Well then. I'm sure I'll have a blast. Okay, what's happening here that I can can't randomly can't go through um parts of the floor. Uh, by the way, I've named the um main characters of this um Nya and Ra, and I'm very sorry about that.
Ooh, maximum HP went up by 23. I'll take it. I have no idea what to do here. No less... What even are the guilds that are warring with someone? Are they warring with each other? Do the thieves and the seamstresses have beef? Um, is that a Guild Wars reference, or...? Oh no. Oh, the ad server showed it to you again. No, I played the um, first Guild Wars when it first came out, but I wasn't really um, into it enough to learn the lore, so I do not know what the Guild Wars are. You didn't pay attention, but you swear you saw a chocobo. Yeah, the annoying thing about only having one character is you barely have any space to carry anything. Oh, I guess it now. Victory. That is one helpful monkey. This is going to turn into a Robbie Williams song. He killed the mushroom. Sparkle usually means there's a boss, so... Only Nya can absorb the power of this place. Okay. Q, Q, Q. Now she's my type. Q, Q, Q. I think I'll ask her for a date. Aw, oh, the monkey found a friend. Hmm. Okay, and I 
I guess there are cavemen around here. You engage the cave boy. No less completely irrelevant, but you remember when your dad got your sibling and you these goggle things that use your phone for VR or holding it up to your face and giving you one button you can push. Try this one space party game and it had a full VR ad for Final Fantasy with chocobos and all sorts of... and you like this ad, but it's more fun than the game it's in. <laughs> Mr. Blue, you have what some would call a problem, but many would call an opportunity. Your donuts got hot and melted together. Now you have super donuts. <sighs> Mr. Blue is too powerful and must be stopped. Give me the donuts. No less cartoon territory, sexual characteristics, or whatever TV tropes called it. Cave boy can't hit me for toffee. My health is very low. became tame. Ooh, picnic lunch. Picnic lunch. When eaten, you recover about 80 HP. There's even a slice of your favourite cake. kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. Who knew Stonehenge was in... that Stonehenge was in Scotland? Mr. Blue, there's somewhat fancy brand of a uh, somewhat fancy brand of chocolate frosted donuts with that really waxy chocolate you love. N10 man's donuts. Oh, uh, like a ganache. For some reason, something that looks like a very large iron eraser is in the way. I guess I need to come back with a pencil eraser eraser. Oh. Help. 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 No, unless you've been to Stonehenge once, you could add one of radio sweepstakes. But you're American, so you couldn't tell me where it is for money. No, it's not in Wales. It's uh, sort of like north of ish of London. Well, it's in Gloucester, I think. Is it Gloucester? I'll be honest. I only really know it's a bit further south. It's uh, a fairly decent way south of where I am. be in trouble. Muffin? Yes, Stonehenge is basically in London. Yeah, Salisbury, that's what I was trying to think of. Q 
Okay, I better use that lunch. Because otherwise I'm in trouble. Okay, I need to come back this way for the full party, I guess. Muffin, your favourite YouTuber lives in London. Goggles, London would love to think everything's in London. To be fair, that is true. Royal Jordian, he's a Motov V logger. I have no idea what those words mean. Mr. Brickrow, the dungeon maker referred you, right? And not only that, what? Who? My son? Oh, I, I can't believe it. You're raw. My son. It's been maybe ten years since I last saw you. I'm glad you're such a healthy boy. Uh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Well, I was only offering. I'd also like a donut about, right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Well, at least I asked. Mm-hmm, okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. That girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase distorter that can connect two points in space and time. It's since incom still incomplete, unless you use another invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you're bored, always listen to the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Isn't this neat? Get in. Get in the robot, Ra. Oh, he makes motorcycle videos. Makes sense. Let's get in, get, get together again in ten years or so. E equals MC squared. Energy, the amount of energy in a given piece of matter is equal to the amount of matter multiplied by the uh, speed of light squared. Yeah, and the Skyrunner is called the Skywalker in the Japanese version. Amazing. Ra, open the present. There's a broken pipe inside. Ce n'est pas une pipe. Instant, re Instant revitalizing device. In only a few seconds, this machine fully revitalizes you. Just like a good night's sleep. And that's handy. Okay, let's run the sky then. Yeah, that's pretty much what he says, Enfys. I guess, uh, Ra, he and Lucas basically had a childhood like, um, Radical Edward. Doom Muffin has redeemed random trivia. Oh, I had one. Oh, yeah. The uh, main antagonist and final boss of this game was inspired by a nightmare Shigesatu Itoi had. After watching the anime movie, The Military Policeman and the Dismembered Beauty. See that? I remember to write down trivia for once. and some rede uh, redeemed it. The stars align. <laughs> was it a trivial task, Enfys? Of course it was. Oh, a phone.
I like the contrast where um, uh, Nez's dad tells him to take it easy if he uh, continues, whereas Lucas's um, adoptive father. What am I supposed to be doing here? Getting in the Skywalker thing, that was it. So we said the round thing. This is the round thing. Is there another round thing? Guess that was the round thing. Time to put some tin foil hats on some farmers. Exactly. Okay, so I'm not really sure what to do. Pressing the action button. Oh. Yep, I'm stuck. I roll back to when I spoke to him. Oh, have a good luck, Muffin. No less you're trying to look it up, but you're not finding it easy. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. Well, I think I just did it by accident. What happened? It's not moving. Hey, why don't you try pressing the button on the controller? Okay, so I guess I just wasn't walking into it hard enough.
Guess I'll be, be visiting that city later. that seems to be how this goes one person said you're playing this on a rom why can't you get into the thing the person said walk it straight into the front op says why did it work that time okay then r.i.p everyone i guess beep no less the Brie who stares at goats vibes. <laughs> I guess it's got a helpful um, kidnap friend detector in there. Oh, hey, the Kiel, welcome to the chat. The men who stared at goats. Uh, I can't remember actually. It's one of those weird ones where I know of it, but I can't remember if I've actually seen it. Oh, thanks for the follow, Keel. Well, I guess the entire party's been united. And this calls for a celebration. Okay, voice time. Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. The Skyrunner. Oh, I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You didn't have to explain a thing. I'm Ra. Once again, I apologise to everyone for the names I've given the characters. The Keel, you love you some Earthbound. That's fair, I'm enjoying it quite a bit so far. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Alright, let's get back to the journey then. Nolis, the evening scene of The Men Who Stare at Goats, is a man glaring at an office door and then sprinting straight into it, into it, thinking that this time he'll develop psychic powers and face for it. Rah! Joined you. It's impossible to fix, for the time being. The door is locked. Alright, yep, yeah, I have the device that opens doors. Rah, use the bad key machine. The Keel, you're currently in the fourth week of living with your best friend who you met solely because she streamed Earthbound once on Twitch. What a story. Was that a while ago? Okay, I've uh, guess I've risen from a grave, and once again I'm attacked by trash cans because this is just Doctor Who now.
Yeah, it was basically 10 months from first catching her stream to you moving 1,200 miles to live with her. Well then. I suppose there's a... That's one way to find a roommate. Oh no. No less the men who are... Uh, oh, thanks for the quote, by the way. The men who stare at goats is a story inspired by the real-life US Army's attempts at cultivating psychic powers. The title comes from an experiment where they had people try to give a goat a heart attack by staring at it. If you recall correctly, one of the foremost characters in it says he actually succeeded, but was so shaken up by the experience he left the army and became a pacifist. Well then. harder than I expected. Yep, I agree with no less friendship goals. Oh, the power of healing beta. Let's just get back to the hospital. Avoid the creepy marionettes. I like how they literally just hold your party hostage. There is a well-known theory that if you are bitten by zombies, fight back and you can recover. Of course, there is no scientific evidence to support this theory. I suppose it depends if um, zombies are poisonous or ven venomous.
Yeah, I get that's supposed to be an abstraction, but it really does feel like that they literally take your character hostage. Welcome back, Nellis. So, sir? Oh, you got up early today. The guest newspapers were delivered that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called The Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Two human kids escaped by somehow opening their cage. A few days ago, the zombies got some kids at this hotel. The boy had a red cap. Hey, it was you. I like how he just doesn't miss a beat learning that uh, another kid just randomly turned up. Okay, what time are we at? Oh, it's only quarter to seven, so I'll just keep going till seven. Question mark? There's been a circus tent at the centre of town for a while, for a long time. I saw another tent to the south. I wonder when it went up. Uh, uh, hi, hello. No less, you're hoping Discord app doesn't lag this much. Wait, you're playing on using Fi Firefox for Roll20? Oh no. I mean, to be fair, you only really need roll 20 for your um, sh character sheet. You can roll dice another way if you want to. People used to call me evil, but these zombies are far more scary. I left my wife and kids at home to escape to this tent. That's how scary the zombies are. Wow, I hope that guy's the villain so we can beat him up. How can we defeat the zombies? Uh, uh, I just don't know. So this weird object was flying around and crashed in the graveyard. It looked like it was straight out of a Saturday morning cartoon. Why did you come here in that flying contraption? I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. Why don't we get all the zombies in this tent and set it on fire? We may all get munched before we have a chance to do anything. Frankly, I'm running scared. I don't mean that I actually run around. I just mean I'm frightened. Conditions in the town are getting worse. <laughs> and thanks for quoting there, Liz. I'm so scared of the zombies, I spend all my time running from them. I can't even get home. Oh, and there's just a creepy marionette in the road. Ra's defense is an impregnable force.
Hmm. All right, the first graphic guy. No less. Conditions in the town are getting worse. All of your Fallout 4 settlers, for no reason upon which the wiki or greater internet can elaborate on with any confidence. Oh, and I just got ambushed by a pair of bins. Nerdless. Kureyu Chan! This guy another life, probably. Something, something, accuser. Paula's level 11. Uh, yeah, I lost all the uh, grinding I did for Paula. Yeah, I'll keep playing until the top of the hour. You engage the zombie possessor in its cohort. ghosts and they won't leave this place. Okay, vulnerable to fire and flash and paralysis. No less is an achievement for getting a villager's happiness to 100%, but the factors that always keep it at 
odd percent are many and com completely ineffable. Well, that's why I don't bother with achievements. There's also conflicting reports on whether the large settlement in the achievement description it means it has to be near the build limit for items placed, so mostly... Okay. Yeah, I think the uh, most of the systems in Fallout 4 are a bit... Um, ambiguous. Same as the last time. It's five to seven, so I think I'll call it here. Okay, so yep, yeah, uh, thanks everyone for dropping by. Uh, once again, I'll uh, be um, over on Nick, aka his cursedness, his um, YouTube channel, uh, GMing a session of Blades in the Dark in about 35 minutes. So catch that if you want to. Good stream. Oh, thank you, Jan. I hope you enjoyed Earthbound today. I'll be back on Monday uh, with more Zelda. I did pretty well there on Wednesday. I got through four dungeons. So, you never know. Maybe I managed to finish the whole thing. Yep, that's right, Nellis. Leviathan slash and or ghost and or vampire hunting in half an hour. Yep. Uh, not much to report on my um, tiefling ear making project today. Because I'm waiting for some... Um, just uh, some more supplies for that. 
but keep an eye on my uh, Twitter. Anyway, we'll just see who's streaming and who I can raid. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, between two gays are streaming something called Tinykin. So let's go uh, pay them a visit. Uh, once again, hopefully I'll uh, see you all um, in like 30 minutes for D&D. &D. Um, not D&D, &D, Blades in the Dark. But if not, hopefully I'll see you Monday. And if not, hope you have a good weekend. Uh, just throwing a cheeky link to my phone. If anyone wants to look at my wish list. And with that, uh, we're ready in three two one if you're watching the vod like comment and subscribe and if you're still watching this on friday have a lovely weekend